Today's lesson is 1.9, using multiplication facts to find division facts. The objective for today is that you will be able to identify multiplication fact related to division facts in order to solve division facts. In your notes, I want you to include this problem. Carly reads a book with 32 chapters. She has eight days to read this book. She wants to read the same number of chapters each day. So how would you solve this problem? So in this problem, I see that I have two numbers. I've got 8 and 32. Well, I know that 8 times something equals 32 because I know my facts. So that means whatever goes in my blank can also be a part of my division fact family. So 32 divided by 8 would equal whatever I'm missing. So sometimes one way to think about the answers to our division problem is to think about it in terms of multiplication. Well, 8 times what equals 32? And when I figure that out, I can fill in my blanks for my answers. When I look at this array right here, I can think to myself, what multiplication fact can help me solve this problem? Well, on this one, I'm noticing that I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 across this side. So I'm going to write that down. And I'm noticing that down this side I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I can write that down. Well, I know arrays, I do my multiplication, 8 times 10 would equal 80. Well, if I know division, I have a fact family. So I could do 80 divided by 10, and that would equal 8. I could also do 80 divided by 8, which would equal 10. How could you use grid paper to outline rows and columns to find 63 divided by 9? Discuss this with your partner. Well, since we're doing a video, we're not going to worry about discussing anything with a partner. Write a related multiplication and division fact for this model. Well, again, I'm not going to make you draw your grid here, but I want you to think about it. If I were looking at an array, I would need to know 9 times what equals 63. I could also count out 63 total boxes if I wanted, but... I would rather use what I know about my multiplication and division facts. So 9 times what equals 63? When I have figured that answer out, I can fill in my blank to figure out all of the related division and multiplication facts. Well, again, I know my facts, so I know that 9 times 7 equals 63. This is going to be a part of what we call a fact family. In a fact family, I typically have four complete problems because I know that in multiplication, it does not matter the order in which I multiply my numbers, I will still end up with the same answer. So here's my two multiplication sentences. Now I have two division sentences. Both division sentences have to start with the number 63 because division always starts with my larger number, kind of like subtraction. So 63 divided by 7 would give me my 9. And I can also reverse those, so I could do 63 divided by 9, which would give me 7. These four problems right here are a part of what we call a fact family. These are all of the related multiplication and division problems that would equal there. In your notes, I want you to complete 1, 2, 3, and 4 in your notes. Be sure to include all the multiplication problems and division problems when you're writing out your answers.